Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to set the color brightness of an image using the slider in Matlab app. So let's begin. I've got a couple of images already. Uh, one is flower and the other one is butterfly image. And we'll use this one to demonstrate. So let me start by creating an app. Click on the blank app to create it. And then we'll save it. We can name this app anything. Say for example, name image control app. And click on it. So yeah, perfect. Now in this what I will do is first and foremost I will put an image uh, widget. So in this image component I will just browse and probably initially I will put a uh, uh, say for example flap and then I will make it bigger. Yeah perfect. And the other one I will need is slider. So I will just put slider. I will not put anything else. So I think these two are sufficient enough. I can make it a little bigger. And slider also, I can make it completely yeah, like this. And I can bring the value to 1, the default value, and the maximum minimum value probably to 0 to 2. Perfect. And then measure and minor ticks. I can leave it as it is. If you want, you can modify this, but for simplicity, I'll leave it. Now, what, what I'll do is I'll just add a callback. So, value changing function. You can e either use change or changing. I'll prefer changing. So that we can see while we are scrolling uh, on the slider, it will change the value. So over here, by default, we get a changing value, the value of the slider, the current value. So before we proceed, what we'll do is we'll create a property, a private property probably. And that property name we can put is SAF. Oh, we can name anything. Okay. And uh, in this function, in this method, slider value changing method, first and foremost, we'll update the value of a but before that we'll check whether a is empty or not so probably i'll do one thing i'll use is empty method and then i'll use yeah if it's empty then definitely pop up uh, this app dot a or populate the value by the value of the image dot source I think what we should do is we should do a IM read on this because we have to read the pixels value, the image, the value in the matrix form. Yeah. And then end. So this will get uh, executed only for the first time when the uh, this value is empty. Once it's uh, populated, then it will not read. It. Perfect. Now what I will do is I will update the value of the image widget source image source so i'll change the image source and image source will be nothing but app.a whatever we have read just now and but okay wait, i'll do one thing i'll i'll multiply it with the changing value so if it's one then of course the original value of a will be there but if it changes it will become like either double so it will become more bright or it may become dark so that's all let me run it and see how it comes up in the app Perfect. So I can see okay, it didn't resize, so that's fine. So I'll reset it to the original size, no problem. And now if I move the this one, the slider value, so if you can notice the image is getting darker the moment I reach towards zero and becomes more and more brighter when I reach towards two because the uh, value of the pixels are getting multiplied here by two, so everything is becoming more and more on the brighter side. However, if I move towards the Zero is everything become darker because everything is become going towards the zero side RGB I, uh, color. I'll do one thing. I'll just quickly check with the other uh, image as well, just for uh, demonstration purpose. So this time I'm choosing the butterfly, and if I go on the right hand side, it's looking more and more bright. If I come on the left hand side, it's become dark. So that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is uh, to manipulate an image uh, in the app designer. It's just one simple demonstration where you can uh, change the color, color contrast of the image by moving it around. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comments below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.